This is my current fleet of mini multi-rotors. Over here on the left, I got a couple of simple copter tricopters. This has a KK2, this has a NASA 32. I got an FPV 250, a Tri 280, and this of course is a ZMR 250. This is the full carbon fiber frame, and it has proven to be pretty durable. I have a lot of different color propellers now, and the propellers on it seem to change frequently because I crash a lot. So for the next multi-rotor, it is going to be this. It is a FPV 250, but this is a full um, fiberglass frame. The other one I have is a carbon fiber, and I'm going to do a little review of this and tell you some of my thoughts and impressions of it compared to the other ones. This is what you get with the package. You get all the fiberglass pieces, and you get your uh, little red stands with the little vibration mounts for the uh, camera piece up here. You also have the screws that hold the arms onto the body and the screws that hold the top plate onto the quadcopter. I'll go ahead and start measuring how thick some of these plates are. This one here is about one and a half millimeters. And this is one of the base plates. The other base plate feels a little thicker. Let's see. Yep, yeah, about one and a 1.51, 1.52. The top plate is one and a half millimeters thick. And the arms are coming in about 3.14. Let's check one more just to see if they're all pretty consistent or not. Yeah, 3.11, 3.12. We're pretty good there. So with the measurements out of the way, I'll go ahead and use camera magic. And just like that, I have the spacers in. And it actually has two extras. It came with 10. And I think there's only eight spaces for spacers. Now the arms are on. They use the same four screws uh, and the little lock nuts on the bottom, just like the uh, full carbon fiber one. So here it is fully assembled with all the parts on it, including the legs and the camera mount. Now when you're putting the top plate on, you need to make sure you pay attention to where the four holes are for the camera mount because they should go in the front where your FPV camera mount is, this little dealio here, this little piece of, of fiberglass. Now the back is pretty much the same except it has this hole on the back. And what you can do with that is you can drill it out a little bit larger and you can put a cable extension in it like this for your antenna. And that way your antenna, if it were to crash, it's going to rip uh, here instead of ripping up your FPV transmitter. I have the scales turned on and set to grams. I'll go ahead and put this fully assembled frame on here and we'll see what it comes in at. 172.8 grams. That's not too bad for a quadcopter frame. This is the ZMR250 carbon fiber frame. This is the fiberglass frame I just put together. And if I put them on here bottom to bottom like this, you can tell they're... Pretty much identical. The only difference seems to be the material they're made of. Even on the bottom, if you look on this, the holes all even line up. The holes on the bottom of the frame, the holes on the bottom of the arm, they uh, all seem to do pretty well. I had a lot of questions if I used two screws or four. I used two. Anyway, <laughs> sorry about the side note. The only problem I've had with this one is the uh, propellers breaking and a couple of times I'm broke off this antenna when I was crashing. But the arms you know, all, that are on here are all, are all original. So I'm anxious to see how this one flies and handles crashes because they say the fiberglass is supposed to be not as strong and then other people say it's supposed to be stronger than the carbon fiber. But if you don't crash too hard, I guess you don't, you'll never know. So I guess that's good. The only reason I, I think this would be a, a good frame to start with is because it's, it's half the price of the carbon fiber one. And from what I can tell, you know, it looks pretty solid. I mean, I, here I'm even trying to bend the arms and you, I'm not hardly getting any bend out of them at all. That's good. The, the top plates and the bottom plates will bend a little easier because they're a little bit thinner. But overall, I really like this frame. I'm anxious to get it in the air. If you uh, have any questions about this, let me know. I'll try to answer them as best I can. And I'll try to throw up some uh, other statistics between this one and the other one that I can find in my old uh, videos. And uh, if you have any questions about it, though, leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them as best I can. And uh, check the links if you're interested in picking one of these up for yourself. And as always, thanks for watching. I appreciate the views.